So when I started out with this photography, video making interest that I now have, I started out with an APS-C cropped sensor camera, more specifically the Canon M6 Mark II. I used that camera for over a year and I really enjoyed using it. But you know the hype when everybody's talking about full frame cameras and you don't get that full frame look out of an APS-C camera? So of course I followed the hype and I bought my first full frame camera, which was the Canon EOS R. After that, I've been sticking around with the full frame system. I'm now currently on Sony and I have two full frame Sony cameras in my arsenal. More specifically, the Sony A7S III for filmmaking and some photography. And I also have the Canon... <laughs> and I also have the Sony A7R5 for photography. With these two full frame cameras, I need some full frame lenses and I do have them. So in total, I can go all the way from 17 at the widest with this Tamron 17 to 28 millimeters all the way up to, yeah, 500 millimeters with this Tamron. 150 to 500 millimeters. But as you can see, this is quite hefty to bring around or log around when you're out hiking, for example. So now that I've finally been able to complete my full frame kits all the way from 17 millimeters up to 500 millimeters with all these other full frame lenses, I now want to slim down my kits again. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what do I replace this full frame gear with to slim down my camera bag. You need some coffee, you know? Hi, my name is Roger and on this channel we talk about cameras and stuff. So if you want to follow me, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like the video. And yeah, it's been a long time since I've done this YouTube hype in the beginning of a video. So. I forgot what I was supposed to say. I have my full frame kit here, like I said, all the way from 17 to 500 millimeters with my two full frame cameras. And I also have all of these other full frame lenses over here. I have the 35 to 150 millimeters Tamron lens that I use in weddings mostly because this is a really versatile lens. I can have this on my camera almost all day without changing the lens but I also have an 85 millimeter f1.4 that I use for portrait photography. I have my 90 millimeter macro lens that I use for macro photography. I have the Sony 35 millimeter f1.8 just because I wanted to have the 35 millimeter f1.8. More specifically, this is the best lens when it comes to focus breathing compensation without actually having focus breathing compensation. The 35 millimeter f1.8 lens from Sony, you almost don't see any focus breathing when you're changing your focus. Now that we have focus breathing compensation in the a7S III, for example, it also works with this lens. So now they have totally eliminated focus breathing. Anyway, that's the digression. And I have my Tamron 28 to 200 millimeters with a variable aperture. This is a really, really good nature photography lens that I can bring along. It's lightweight and you have an incredible reach all the way from 28 millimeters up to 200 millimeters. I have all this full frame gear, but my problem is that I've just turned 40 years old. I can't believe that I am 40 years old. And I really do notice the weight of this Tamron lens when I'm out hiking. So I, lately I've been wanting to get a lighter kit, but not lose the focal length that I have in the full frame setup that I have. So what did I buy instead? Well, first of all, you need a camera. So to slim down a full frame camera, <laughs> I bought the Sony A6700. This is Sony's latest crop sensor camera and it is awesome. You get almost like a full frame equivalent features inside of this camera. You have C-Log, you have, you have 10 bit 422 video recording. You have really nice photography skills with this camera and it does have a flip out screen. So all cameras have that nowadays. For my 
let's say 17 to 28 or in the holy trinity equivalent would be a 15 to 35 or 16 to 35 f 2.8 i have for my crop sensor camera recently just bought the sigma 10 to 18 millimeter f 2.8 this is a full frame equivalent of 15 to 27 let me see where's my phone yeah, so this is a full frame equivalent of a 15 to a 27 millimeter lens. So it is actually quite comparable to the 17 to 28 f2.8 that I have in the Tamron lens for the full frame camera. Now for my 24 to 70 f2.8 Sigma lens, I bought the APS-C version of that lens, which is a 17 to 50 millimeter, also f2.8. That's a full frame equivalent of a 27 to 75 millimeter f2.8. Look at that difference. And if you could feel the weight of it, it is really, really lightweight compared to the Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8. And for the, let's say, 70 to 200 f2.8 full frame lens, I bought this APS-C lens from Sony. This is the 70 to 350 millimeter which is actually a more replacement of this Tamron 150 to 500 millimeters this Sony APS-C lens is also a variable aperture it has a variable aperture of 4.5 to 6.3 so it's not the f 2.8 equivalent but for my use with these lenses specifically the Tamron 150 to 500 and this Sony 70 to 350 millimeter is that I really want to do bird photography more than I have. I've just dabbed around with it. I haven't done it properly <laughs> yet, but at least I do have the equipment for it. So this Sony 70 to 350 millimeter is a full frame equivalent of a 105 millimeter to 525 millimeter full frame equivalent. So it is a, around the same focal length that I have in this Tamron lens. The total weight difference of my full frame camera, the Tamron 150 to 500, Sigma 24 to 70, and my Tamron 17 to 28, compared to my A6700 with the 10 to 18 millimeter, 18 to 50 millimeter, the Sony 70 to 350 millimeter, is, I need a uh, weight. So the A6700 is approximately 515 grams. The 18 to 50 millimeter is approximately 293 grams. The Sigma 10 to 18 millimeter is approximately 275 grams. And the 70 to 350 millimeter Sony lens, 680 grams. That's a total of and with my full frame kit, the A7R5 with the L bracket cage on is 884 grams. The Tamron 150 to 500 is 2010 grams. So over two kilos for this. And the Sigma 24 to 70, that's 851 grams. And this lightweight 17 to 28 Tamron lens is 443 grams which is a total of that makes the weight difference a lot probably because i don't do the math in my head but this is the difference and that's a lot when you're out hiking in the forest for example or just going on a hike with your kids or whatever so i'm really happy that i that i've been able and let's say blessed because that's what i am with all this gear that i've been able to buy but yeah that's a big difference when you're outside walking and i can put these three lenses and this camera in a small backpack and still have the same focal range that i have yeah that i have with all this and that's a big difference when you're out hiking and walking and especially for me that just turned 40. Anyway, I just wanted to walk through what you could get in the APS-C line instead of buying all the full frame gear. And price wise, it's probably a lot cheaper also with this APS-C gear 
because the total price of the APS-C gear is this and the total price of the full frame kit is this. So you do see that there is a big difference when it comes to price also. But that's it for this video. I do hope you got something out of it. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. If you want to see more videos from me, that is. And yeah, I do hope you got something out of it. Maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.